Good evening. Welcome to Election Night in America 2020. Tonight we have President Donald Trump running with Mike Pence vying for re-election of President of the United States of America versus Jerry Brown, the Governor of California, and Julian Castro as his running mate. It is now time for the 7 p.m. poll closings. On the state of Kentucky, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their eight electoral votes. Coming out of the state of Indiana, Vice President Mike Pence's home state, Donald Trump, the projected winner. Out of the state of South Carolina, another nine electoral votes as expected, Donald Trump, the projected winner. Coming out of the state of Virginia, and earlier called in in 2016, Jerry Brown, the projected winner of their 13 electoral votes. Out of the state of Vermont, no surprise here, Jerry Brown is the projected winner of their three electoral votes. Out of the state of Georgia, there's a key race alert here. It is currently too close to call. Donald Trump with a strong lead, 16 electoral votes at stake. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump has 28 electoral votes to Jerry Brown's 16. It is now time for the 7.30 p.m. poll closings. Out of the state of West Virginia, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their five electoral votes. Coming out of the state of North Carolina, it is too close to call. Donald Trump has a slim lead. Out of the state of Ohio, as Trump state from 2016, Jerry Brown is now in the lead. 18 electoral votes, too close to call. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump has 33 electoral votes to Jerry Brown's 16. It is now 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and the state's biggest patch of poll closings have closed. Coming out of the state of Oklahoma, Donald Trump will pick up their seven electoral votes. Out of the state of Tennessee, the volunteer state's 11 electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Out of the state of Alabama, nine electoral votes to Donald Trump, the projected winner. Out of the state of Mississippi, six electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Coming out of the state of Missouri, 10 electoral votes to Donald Trump, the projected winner. Out of the state of Maine, one out of their four electoral votes from the second district will now go to Donald Trump. Whereas out of the state of Maryland, the most liberal state in the United States, 10 electoral votes, Jerry Brown, the projected winner. He will also carry Connecticut and its 7 electoral votes. Out of the state of Delaware, Jerry Brown is the projected winner. Coming out of the state of Rhode Island, 4 electoral votes, another state that goes to Jerry Brown. He will also carry New Jersey and its 14 electoral votes. Out of the state of Illinois, another state, Jerry Brown, the projected winner, 20 electoral votes. Out of the state of Massachusetts, 11 electoral votes will go to Jerry Brown. Out of the District of Columbia, Jerry Brown is objective winner of their three electoral votes. Out of the state of New Hampshire, four electoral votes, a state Hillary Clinton narrowly carried in 2016, Jerry Brown is the projected winner. Out of the state of Maine, four electoral votes, Jerry Brown the projected winner. He will carry three out of their four electoral votes from Maine at large and the first congressional district. And out of the state of Florida, the Sunshine State is currently too close to call, 29 electoral votes at stake. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, another 20 electoral votes is currently too close to call. And on the current electoral map, Jerry Brown now taking the lead with 95 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 77. It is now 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Out of the state of Arkansas, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their six electoral votes. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump has 83 electoral votes to Jerry Brown's 95. It is now 9 p.m. Eastern Time and all the states in yellow's polls have closed. Out of the state of Louisiana, 9 electoral votes, Donald Trump the projected winner. Coming out of the state of Texas, 38 electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. He will also carry Kansas up on the red wall here, 6 electoral votes, Donald Trump the projected winner. Nebraska, all 5 of their electoral votes will now go to President Trump. He will also carry Wyoming and its 3 electoral votes. Out of the state of South Dakota, 3 electoral votes, Donald Trump the projected winner. As goes South Dakota, so does North Dakota, North Dakota with another 3 electoral votes. Out of the state of New York, 29 electoral votes, big win for the Jerry Brown campaign. Coming out of the state of New Mexico, 5 electoral votes, Jerry Brown, the projected winner. He will also carry Michigan, a flip from 2016, now called at poll closing time. 16 electoral votes, Jerry Brown, the projected winner. Out of the state of Minnesota, 10 electoral votes will go to Jerry Brown. He will also carry Colorado and its 9 electoral votes. Out of the state of Arizona, it is currently too close to call. Donald Trump is in the lead, 11 electoral votes at stake. Out of the state of Wisconsin, it is also too close to call, 10 electoral votes at stake. Jerry Brown with a slim lead. And on the current electoral map, Jerry Brown has 164 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 149. It is now 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Out of the state of Utah, Donald Trump, the projected winner, 6 electoral votes. Donald Trump will also carry Iowa and its other 6 electoral votes. Coming out of the state of Montana, no big surprise here, three electoral votes, Donald Trump, the projected winner. Out of the state of Ohio, remember, no Republican has won the White House without the state of Ohio. Donald Trump, the projected winner of their 18 electoral votes. 
And at the state of Nevada, it is too close to call. Six electoral votes at stake. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump now taking the lead with 182 electoral votes to Jerry Brown's 164. It is now 11 p.m. Eastern Time. At the state of California, Jerry Brown's home state, 55 electoral votes, the biggest prize in the union. He is the projected winner. Coming out of the state of Hawaii, four electoral votes. Governor Jerry Brown will carry those. Coming out of the state of Washington, 12 electoral votes. The Progressive Coalition is very strong here. Jerry Brown, the projected winner. Coming out of the state of Oregon, seven electoral votes. Jerry Brown will pick up those. At the state of Idaho, Donald Trump, the projected winner of their four electoral votes. And at the state of Georgia, another 16 electoral votes from a swing state, Donald Trump, the projected winner. And at the state of North Carolina, another toss-up to go tonight to the Trump campaign. 15 electoral votes, Donald Trump, the projected winner. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump has 217 electoral votes to Jerry Brown's 242. It is now 12, 12 a.m. Eastern Time. It's standby for state calls from the states of Wisconsin, Florida, and Nevada. Out of state of Wisconsin, Jerry Brown is the projected winner of their 10 electoral votes, a flip from 2016. Big blow to the Trump campaign in the state of Nevada, six electoral votes, Jerry Brown, the projected winner. A little silver lining here for the Trump campaign, 29 electoral votes from the Sunshine State, a big toss-up to go. Florida's 29 electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. And on the current electoral map, Jerry Brown has 258 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 246. It is now 1 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. It's standby for a presidential prediction soon. At the state of Alaska, Donald Trump is a projected winner of their three electoral votes. Coming out of the state of Arizona, 11 electoral votes. Donald Trump, the projected winner. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, 20 electoral votes. Jerry Brown, the projected winner, by a margin of around 1%. This was a very close state. It is now going to Jerry Brown, ultimately making him the president-elect of the United States of America. Jerry Brown will go on to be the 46th president of the United States of America. The United States will see a new administration come January 21st, 2021. And Jerry Brown will go on to beat Donald Trump in his bid for re-election. And on the current electoral map, as you can see, Jerry Brown has surpassed the 270 needed at 278 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 260. Thank you guys for watching this video. And by the way, I just made a new channel. Um, it's where I'm just going to be posting personal content so you can actually learn more about me than just what I show you on my political channel. Um, so that will be in the description below. Go subscribe to it for a cookie. Just like comment down when you're done and I'll personally deliver your cookie. Um, don't forget to check out the Mock Election community. Um, that's a pretty much a fun community on Google+. Plus. So if you have a Gmail, you automatically have a Google+. Plus, or you can just join. You can run for president, um, representative, and even a senator. Um, it's a whole lot of fun. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Leave a like or a dislike depending on how you agree with this prediction. And thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.